Sure, sure, sure. Okay, I was going to um, just sort of perhaps go even more sort of abstract and fundamental and say, what do you think mathematics are? And why do we have this thing that gives us this means of identifying regularities in the world? Mm. And what, you know, what, you know the, the Mike Levin example of the normal distribution that emerges from dropping the balls and where is that stuff? Why do we get it as a free gift? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good question. And, and yeah, that, that is a question that, I wonder about. Oh, uh, I'm. Thirty years ago, maybe. Oh, uh, Lakoff and Nunez published a wonderful book called "Where Does Mathematics Come From?" And in it, they mm. outlaw outlined uh, a theory of mathematics that was uh, very much based on metaphors of motion. And if you think about uh, abstract mathematics, things like category theory or even abstract algebra, you express many of these relationships by diagrams that with, you know, circles and arrows. No and, yeah. you, know, you prove theorems by by taking your finger and moving along the diagram and seeing if everything works. So um, you're kind of enacting this kind of metaphor of motion as as mathematical relationships, as metaphors of motion. Mm. So I, I found this very compelling, this idea. And if one looks at what's uh, lit up in an fMRI scanner when people are doing mathematics, you see a lot of activity in the motor system and the motor planning system. Okay. So that's interesting. There seems mm. to be some um, sense to the notion that when we're doing mathematics, mm. uh, we're actually doing it as a metaphor for motion mm. or a metaphor for manipulation. Uh, so we're moving we're, through space. We're moving through space in some mad sense while right. we're doing it. And, yeah. we're, and we're moving objects from one place to another. Mm. You know, we're saying, you know, what's the relationship of this set to that set? Well, there's some arrows. And I can think about, you know, moving this little ball over here and mm. this little over here and putting it next to that one. And, you know, it's it. It all seems very performative, mm. uh, very kind of motion oriented, and so when you ask what is mathematics, it seems to me like it could really be an abstract encoding of our notions of space and objecthood and identity and all mm. of that stuff, and. At the same time, it looks like it's this gift we get for free. Mm. Well, but in some sense, you know, you're saying it's about walking and running and jumping. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, that's, well, that's, 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 that's fascinating. I, yeah. I think that's certainly what Lakoff and Nunez would yeah, say. Because the human body has to do a shed, a shed load of mathematics to be able to propel a ball, you know, through right. a stadium sort of thing. So is it a glimpse into that in some sense? You know, I at least I don't find that... Um, What's the right word? I don't find that implausible. Mm. I think it it could very well be that we get this for free because we are, you know, embodied agents and we do have this kind of inactive form of cognition. Mm. Uh, I mean, this whole story about uh, objects being... Uh, patterns of correlation that we see on our on our interfaces is not a million miles from things that, you know, Maturana and Varela were saying in the seventies or eighties. So mm. um, there are a lot of threads leading into this way of thinking from various historical antecedents. Mm. And as you said earlier, some of these problems go back as far as ancient Greece. 
you know right so, right, you know, right and and yeah. uh, was it um uh, who was the guy that said that everything we're doing now is just foot, footnotes to plato was that uh, whitehead wasn't it it was whitehead <laughs> yeah.